Good morning, Dr. Lambert here. Going to get into a lumbar spine MRI with you. Explain what we're looking at and talk about what treatment options certain individuals may have who suffer with lumbar spine degenerative disc disease. Now here you have two images of the same part of this person's body. On this image on the right, this is known as a sagittal image or a view from the side. Here on your left, you're looking at an image of somewhere, someone's lumbar spine low back in other words, but this time this is an axial, but we're looking from the feet up. I'll explain that in a little bit. On this particular image, this is the low back of someone who might be standing up right now facing that direction. On this image, if you could see from where you are at home, this is what we call a vertebrae or the L5 vertebrae or the last bone in this person's spine. Right above it, there's another block or another cube that is the L4 vertebrae. There are five in the low back, so this being five, this is four, three, two, and one. Now, my point today is not to strictly talk about bones and where they are positioned, but for this particular case, like I mentioned before, I wanna talk about what a degenerative disc looks like. Here specifically, at the end of this person's low back, right between the L5 bone that I mentioned and the sacrum is a disc. If you can see that from where you are, that is the shape of a washer or almost the shape of a donut. That offers cushion or shock absorption and allows for movement of the spine. Now, on this particular image, this is known as a T2-weighted image, where anything with high water content or healthy water content will come up white, such as the cerebrospinal fluid, which bathes the spinal cord and bathes the neural tissue. What we know anatomically and based on science is that these discs are over 85 to 90 percent water. This person's disc right here and here of course and at this level should be whiter if not a brighter gray. So in this particular case where this disc should be white or gray is black. This one here is also dark gray or a charcoal color or also black. This is significant for degenerative disc disease. Specifically here, if you can see closely, if my assistant can zoom there well enough, you'll see that that space is a lot thinner than the space here. This is moderate to severe disc decay. Now what this can do for any individual, any adult mainly, is cause tremendous amounts of lower back pain. What these people can do for the lower back pain are some of the more conservative treatment options such as physical therapy, for exercise, to help this disc imbibe water, to help it bring on some hydration, to help slow down the progression of degeneration. Chiropractic care, again, same concept, increased range of motion, increased movement in that area to help for pain. Epidurals, in often cases, can help. There's some research to show that epidurals for degenerative disc disease pain can help for 42 to 56% of those who suffer with this type of diagnosis. One even more conservative option that a patient can have, or can try in other words, is omega-3 fish oil. Now someone might say, well, taking fish oil or omega-3 is supposed to help with lower back pain. Well, 14 years ago, two neurosurgeons um, ran some studies and found that those that have two to 3,000 milligrams a day of omega-3 fish oil in their diet can reduce inflammatory pain associated with degenerative disc disease. And that was just reducing the pain. Then, just last December at Cedar sinai Hospital, uh, they did some research there in Los Angeles, and a group of orthopedic surgeons found that not only does the omega-3 fish oil help reduce the inflammation and drop the pain, but it can also help stop the progression of degenerative disc disease. So you have omega-3s as a very conservative, very healthy option for many people to reduce the inflammation and reduce the pain, but also to stop the progression of this disease itself. So these are just some options that some individuals can, can follow. These are some, some very healthy options, especially omega-3 and physical therapy and some conservative methods. Hopefully these methods work for most people. If they don't, injection therapy and sometimes surgery is an option. Hope you learn from this and I'll see you soon.